like either boom or boom with the bottom head. All right, so I'm gonna loosen this bottom head all the way up, just kind of reset it. All right, start back from nothing. I'm loose there, right? Loose there. Loose there. Loose there. Loose there. All right, loose there. All right, so kind of you know reset, start from nothing, right? Perfect. All right. I'm gonna go until I just see these start to kind of touch. All right, there it is. Stop wobbling. There it is. I saw that one move a little bit. See what I'm doing? You might not see what I'm doing right now. Mm -hmm. I'm just starting from ground zero. All right. All right. All right. So. If I put the top head on, tune it up, that's exactly how this tom is going to sound. All right, the top head affects the attack of the drum. So this is going to sound really low right now. I want it to sound a lot higher than this. So usually the best thing to do is start with your lowest tom and set your lowest tone. Because if you start from high and keep trying to go low with these intervals, you're going to wind up bottoming out and you can't go any lower. So start from your lowest tom, get the lowest sound you can get, and then work up from there. And thirds is a good interval. Thirds or fourths. Here comes the bride is a good interval. Here comes the bride. Here comes the bride. Here comes the bride. Does that make sense? That's like a good a good interval to go from tom to tom to tom. It works out nice. Alright, so I know I want to go up a lot, so I'm just gonna go up like little quarter turns. So I'm gonna go pick one, across, next one, across, next one, across. Let me check that. I'm, I'm, going, I'm splitting my turns in half now. I don't want to go much higher. Let's just make this tom sound really ridiculously high. Go a little higher, just for fun. You can like, ignore the weird like at the end of it. Just focus on like the initial, initial gutsy pitch of it. All right. I'm going to show you how the bottom head affects the tone of this drum. So the bottom is really high, right? So, so this top head on there, you always want to make sure you kind of like have a good clean place because if there's junk sitting on here, it's going to affect the way this head seals to this uh, shell. All right, put this guy back on. Start getting these lugs spun back in place. While you're doing that, so you just got it to one pick, pitch on the bottom, and then. Yep. Okay. So this tom should sound like that bottom should sound. Okay. Now it's going to sound more like a tom, but it should be the note that that bottom head was. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm gonna get these lugs where it's just kind of seated. Go down, 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 down. There it is. It's kind of sitting on down now. There it is. Just where it touches. Yep, there it is. You ever hear cracking sounds when you're putting your head on? That's okay. It's part of it. There's glue that holds these metal hoops on the heads from the factory, and there's a little bit of excess, and sometimes it just crackles a little bit. Part of it. You hear it a lot of times on a snare head when you're cranking it down. Yeah. It's normal. Like that. It's just part of it. Alright. You can already hear the tone of it, and that top head's barely sitting on there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just pick a lug, I'm gonna tune it up a little bit. Go up a little bit. It was so loose I could feel I needed to keep going. In a minute, this head's going to come alive. And that's the point where I want to be. So are you listening for that? Oh, 
Okay. See, see, it's starting to come alive. Now I'm here. I'm gonna start taking each one one at a time. This is my process. All right, this is my process. I do. I take each one one at a time. Go to nothing. Nothing. Oh wow. Push out the slack a little bit, then come back up until I hear it come back to life. Dead, papery. Hear that? I want to get to that point where it just starts to come alive a little bit. Now I'll just keep going in order. I'm really make sure I'm a lot make sure I'm where I want to be. Are you matching tone? It'll continue to go down a little bit as you find some that are a little higher than they need to be. Okay. You're just making it alive right now. You're not worried about the tone. It sounds pretty high, but that's because the bottom's high. Remember, that's the note we set it to. It's more, it's more gutsy. That's the note. So if I want to sound lower, all right, just keep doing this. Go. Just keep doing that. of the drum is in the bottom. The attack is in the top. Does that make sense? So that's it. Thank you, Jay.